Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 372. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook, Excel Magic Trick 371 to 376. In this trick, we have a student, uh, number of days for evaluation, and the date they entered the system. And our goal is to figure out when the evaluation end date is. So this is a simple matter of taking this date and adding 60 days. Oh, but wait a second. We have weekends because weekends are not part of the school system and we have a bunch of non-school dates down here. So for this school one, we have all these dates and we actually have one, two, three, four schools. So we want to see how, how to take into consideration the fact that we need to jump 60 days from this day, not count weekends, Saturday and Sunday, and not count these holidays. Easy, we use the work day. No way, the work day function, what a lifesaver. Start date, we click right there, comma, number of days, 60. Now, work day, if we say start here, it jumps to the next one and starts counting. If you want to include this one as one of the days, you then have to subtract one. Again, work day, we'll not consider this a day, we want to consider it a day, so we're going to have to say minus one from our 60. That's days. And then holidays, you simply highlight the holidays. Now I'm going to keep these all relative cell references. Just like that, because we'll use that to our advantage in just a moment. Now, uh, control enter. So there it is. 1, 29, 10. That is uh, 60 days without the holidays, weekends, uh, given this start date. Now, I want to do something else here. If these dates are dynamic, meaning sometimes you can add or change the dates, I'd like to convert this to a table. Now, the important thing about converting to a table is that you have blanks all the way around. If I had this label sitting right there, this uh, creating a table would consider that part of it. Well, you could highlight it and do it that way, but to be safe, data analysis, you leave blanks all the way around. I'm going to click somewhere in this data set and control L if you're in 2003. Before 2003, this won't work. Click cancel. If you're in 2007 or 2010, control T. And then my table has headers. Click OK. What this does is now this, even though we created this formula first, C17 to C32, that range is dynamic now. Let's go to the bottom of this table and add a date. I'm going to control down arrow to get to the bottom. Now here's how you add records to a table. Now this is just a, a little table or database with just one column. Obviously, most of the times you have lots of columns. But once you get to the last, uh, column last cell, all you do is hit tab and it adds a new record. Now I'm going to type 10-26-09. So that will be our new, and then I'm going to hit enter. That will be our new holiday or non-school day and I come up here and sure enough it is exactly gone from that Friday 129, jumped over the weekend, added one more day. So the last evaluation day will be 2-1-2010. Now, I'm going to copy this formula here, relative cell references, and paste it here for this next school. But watch this. I'm going to put it into edit mode, F2. Ah, and that, we didn't do anything dynamic with that, so look at this. See that range? It's not quite right. Now, you could do offset or something like that. But if I only have four schools, watch this. I'm just going to put it in edit mode and point to the edge and click and drag. Now, I'm going to hit tab tab, control V, oops, I got to go back and copy again, control C, control V, put it into edit mode and go down and drag this. And then hit enter. Why don't I copy this again? Copy, come over here, control V, put it into edit mode. Oh, look, that one's too big, so I just drag it up. Now again, you could use offset, but for a nice quick uh, solution that always works and then you'd convert each one of these to, ta to tables uh, and they would be dynamic also in fact let's do that one more time here control T enter come down to the bottom control down arrow I'm gonna hit tab to add a new record and I'm gonna do that same date 10-26-09 and so and then I hit enter that's not gonna add a new record tab will come up here and sure enough it added one date there each one of these schools had slightly different uh, holidays, so that's why we get slightly different dates. All right, uh, workday function, totally amazing. We'll see you next trick.